This week's Getting Results Award winner is a self-proclaimed nerd with a knack for uncovering the past. Thanks to her efforts, 61 forgotten veterans have found new glory. Most of them were Union soldiers in the Civil War, making this cemetery very unique. Cemeteries are a fascinating field of study in so many directions. Beneath the Spanish moss and century-old oaks, stories are told through granite and brass here in the St. Cloud Cemetery. Well, this is my turf. One of the more common visitors. Yes, I enjoy it. Hasn't even met the people buried here, but. Well, I'm the one who digs them up. Well, so to speak. She knows them very well. George O'Blenis buried over there. You see, Larissa Rodman served in the Union Navy. Is a historian. During Ten years ago, a friend asked Larissa to research an unmarked grave here in St. Cloud, and the rest is history. What I saw was essentially uh, chaos. The list was incomplete. It had errors, and I can tolerate my life being upside down in many ways, but I want my spreadsheets neat and tidy. So Larissa started researching. So it's a matter of solving the riddle. During the last decade, she has dug up facts and information on 61 veterans buried here. Every stone represents a person who led a full life. Many served in the Civil War, and nearly all of them fighting for the North. St. Cloud was established as a retirement colony for Union soldiers. That's one of the two lonely Confederates buried here. She turned their unmarked graves into a correct headstone. It's something that should be done, it needs to be done, and I'm a research nerd, so I'm capable of doing it. This week's Getting Results Award winner doesn't get any money or glory for this thankless job, but her burning curiosity has gotten results for otherwise forgotten figures of the past. Some of them have been waiting a hundred years or more forgotten in unmarked graves. Now that they have headstones, they can be recognized for their service. All right, I really wish wow. I had more time for right? this one. Larissa has uncovered some amazing stories. She got a headstone for a father and son who were buried right next to each other. She also found out about a veteran of the Civil War who was born a slave, and when he was 15, he joined the Union Army to fight for freedom. All sorts of stuff mm -hmm. like that. So cool. So if you know someone who's getting results, you can nominate them using the form on our website, clickorlando.com. Go to the top banner under Getting Results tab. Choose Submit Nomination. Also, St. Cloud has a fascinating history, how they were started as a yeah. retirement colony for Union soldiers in 1909. So that's why so many of them are buried there. So many questions for you. She needs to write a book detailing really should, all of yeah. those people. And is she raising money to get those headstones? She does. She okay. raises money to get the headstones. And, yeah. you know, 60 of them is not cheap. Write a book and use your book sales. That's Would my advice. Would love to see that. Yeah, yeah.